Hey Cancer and welcome to your April 2022 mid-month love reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So let's get your current situation. Current situation for Cancer. Ooh. You have the Two of Cups. Your challenge to this current situation. My goodness. You've got the Nine of Wands and the Three of Cups. Your past, present, future energy. Is the Four of Cups in your past, the Five of Pentacles in your current energy, and for your future is the King of Pentacles. Your advice. Is the Six of Wands. And your potential outcome is the queen of pentacles nice <clears throat> we do have that um that perfect balance energy bottom of the deck and what you don't know is the six of pentacles more balance two of cups balance cancer it looks like some of you are getting into a committed relationship um let's get what the two of cups is all about here there's the two of cups here for cancer, the seven of swords. So, yeah, you're afraid to put yourself out there, afraid to be hurt. Um, there could be a rekindling or a second opportunity with somebody that you weren't so good to in the past. Um, could have, uh, you know, cheated or lied to them. Um, temperance did fly out of there. Um, could be with a Sagittarius. Um, let's see here. Your challenge is the Nine of Wands. So let's see why that's your challenge. Yes. Okay. The Queen of Swords. So there's some sort of residue here still from a relationship of the past. Um, with the Three of Cups, this person has the potential to make you happy. I love that reference to Alice in Wonderland there. Um, but this person has the potential to make you happy. But they don't know if they want to give you a second opportunity when you offer them this connection. Um, there is a, a big opportunity for growth here. Um, in your past, you could have not seen the value that they brought to the connection. Um, you were focusing on what you'd have to give up um, and not focusing on what you were gaining, which would have outweighed the other. Um, you were very confused in the past, uh, needing to find balance, and you were playing between two people. It could have been two fire signs um, there. With that Five of Pentacles in your current energy, oops, why is this Five of Pentacles here in their current energy? Current energy. The King of Swords, yeah. Things are changing for you. You're needing to cut something out of your um, everyday routine, your everyday life with the King of Wands. Wow, you have three kings here. Um, by, by following your passion, by remaining stable, grounded, you are going to get an opportunity to come into a relationship with this person. Could have been somebody of your past that really never really got off the ground because you had somebody else at the time. Your um, advice is to be confident, to know that you could be victorious in this situation. Um, one of you, either you or them, has a choice. You will be the victor. You will be the one that gets the opportunity with this person. Um... But you have to make a choice as well. How bad do you want this person? What do you have to give up to have this person? Um, this person could be needing some healing. Um, or this is you, one or the other. One of you needs healing from whatever was done in the past. From that Seven of Swords energy. You should have been in connection by now. Um, because this was faded. But there was that setback of somebody else in the picture that wasn't let go of. And that's what needs to be completely cut out, completely released um, in order for this relationship to come into balance. Um, no matter how hard that may be, you have to dig down deep, 
find the strength to like physically cut out somebody out of your life or emotionally cut ties with them. Um, because when you do that, it not only heals you, but it brings you into balance so that you can um, offer this person that you're wanting to connect with now um, a relationship, a balanced relationship, one of equal give and take, one that's honest and not like that of the past. Um, they're going to have to think about this for a little bit due to um, what happened in the past. They may seem cold at first, um, but that's just because they're protecting their heart. They want to make sure what you're telling them is the truth and what is real. And remember, this can be vice versa. They don't want to go down that, that rabbit hole if, if this is just another game. Um, or you. With that four cups, you didn't want to let go of what you had in order to gain something that was meant to come into your life. There was a little bit of player energy there. If it wasn't you, it was them. Um, there is a little bit of sadness here. You're wanting to move forward. You're wanting to take action. You're wanting to get this relationship on the road. And they're putting up a little bit of a stop sign there. Um, wanting to make sure this is the real deal. But you are gaining that stability within the connection. As well as following your heart and going after what you're passionate about. Choosing to be successful with this uh, could be Gemini, could be a fire sign. Um, yeah, that's about all I'm getting is Sagittarius, Gemini. Which is crazy because Gemini is the twins and Sagittarius is directly across the um, horoscope wheel from them. So most definitely you're probably connecting with a Gemini or a Sagittarius there in their sun or moon. Um, or rising. Possibly Venus, but um, I would say more so um, Venus would be on the Gemini side. Um, just because that's how I'm seeing it. Okay, so, oh, there's Leo here as well. So it could be a fire, any fire sign. Um, let's get a potential outcome for the end of April. Tell me more about this outcome. The Magician and Two of Wands. Yep, you're at a crossroads. You can create the beauty. You can create the happiness you deserve, that you want. But you have to take action. You have the tools in your hands to move forward and gain the relationship you want. But there's some action and some healing that needs to take place. Um, and that needs to be done in order. Your shadow side needs to be dealt with in order um, for this to come into balance. In order for this to come into a connection. Um, or this is them, Cancer. Like I said, it can be vice versa. I am seeing it as you, but that doesn't mean anything. I mean, it doesn't mean that that's set in stone. It could be the other person, and you could be the one experiencing the the reluctance to get back into a connection with this person. All right, Cancer. Let's get one card of advice from our goddesses here. One card of advice. Okay, we got be strong. You are stronger than you think you are. And your strength assures a happy outcome. So, let's see what that means. Okay, it says, See yourself as strong and victorious. Don't complain about anything. Don't blame anyone or any condition. You are the embodiment of strength, not victimhood. You, as you rise above the old tendencies and see yourself in a new light of beautiful strength, your life will automatically shift in miraculous ways. You'll attract new opportunities, forms of abundance, and relationships to help you manifest your highest potential. Being strong means seeing yourself in the most favorable light you can imagine. Be real. Allow yourself to be genuine and to feel genuine emotions. But most of all, be strong. Don't underestimate yourself. Don't yield pressure or temptation. Don't yield to pressure or temptation. Avoid complaining or indulging in negative thinking. And know that you are stronger because of it. All right. So, yeah, just kind of wrapped up what was just said there. But, um, yeah, you have, you have what it takes. You just have to persevere. You have to get through this time of healing. You have to bring that back into balance um, due to uh, some energy that wasn't necessarily the most honest here um, in the past but this is somebody who's fated for you who's destined to be on your path um, and the king and queen of pentacles to me is always a spouse so no matter what signs they are so you do have a potential life partner here waiting for you um, to move forward to 
but they have to see that you're speaking and that you're walking your talk um, because they don't want to be hurt again. So, all right, Cancer, I will see you next time. Have a beautiful end of April. God bless.